So I've recently been playing more hardcore and survival Minecraft than I used to, and it got me thinking. Jumping is such an essential part of the game, you have to jump up blocks to navigate the terrain, jump to stack up to escape a cave or ravine, jump to sprint and travel faster. So is beating Minecraft by killing the ender dragon possible without jumping? Well, let's find out. The first thing I did was create a brand new world, and immediately hopped into the settings to turn off my ability to jump. And had my first realisation on how weird this is going to be. Oh, this is weird. This is really, really weird. I can't jump. I knew before I started this challenge I was going to need a lot of wood to start off with, as one of the only ways of getting up blocks without jumping is to use slabs. So I cut down my first tree, grabbing the logs, and made a crafting table to make some tools but mainly some slabs so I could actually traverse the terrain a bit better. After grabbing some more logs, I attempted to get out of the dip and set out to try and fulfil my first goal, getting stone, coal and iron. I used the slabs I made to escape, making my way into a sparse jungle where I found a small cave to grab some stone, which also had some coal in it. I gathered some of it up, wanting to go a bit deeper but spotting a creeper and quickly left. Well, left as quickly as I could, which wasn't that fast as I couldn't jump up blocks. I gathered some jungle logs, then decided to swim to a neighbouring island, which had some exposed coal. It was only then that I realised how challenging swimming is going to be. I have to constantly sprint swim in order to get to the surface, or else I will just sink to the bottom. And then I also have to use a slab to actually leave the water. By this point the sun was setting on day one, and I quickly made myself a little shelter to wait out the night. I tried to go mining for some iron, but realised that digging down is very difficult and will require a lot of slabs. I also have to have two blocks on each level, otherwise I can't place a slab down. I spent the entire night mining, finding absolutely nothing useful and packing up and continuing on my journey. I ventured around the island, navigating a layer at a time and looking for exposed iron, which I found a few pieces of. I was able to use F5 mode to better see around corners or on levels that I couldn't see. After getting a bit more wood, I continued moving, swimming across to a desert area while hearing some weird noises and noticed that a drowned was trying to spear me with a trident. Knowing that there was no chance I could take him on, I continued searching for iron. By this point, I feel like I hadn't accomplished a lot. I was trying to get around the side of a desert and a mesa mountain, which was such a pain without jumping, and I spent the next five or so minutes just trying to find a safe place to ride out the night. I found a small mountain opening which led to a very very tiny lush cave, and that was where I spent my second night. I smelted my iron and ended up making a shield, bucket and helmet, desperately hoping that the bucket would help me traverse the world a bit easier. When morning came, I left bright and early, determined to find more iron and a nice place to potentially set up a base. As I was going, I spotted an underwater cavern. I had a swim down and spotted a couple pieces of iron, so I swam back up to the surface, placed my crafting table down, and made some doors to help me breathe underwater. I spent most of day three swimming through underwater tunnels, searching for iron, and trying not to drown, finding a total of 11 pieces of iron. I continued journeying through the Badlands and searched for any cave or exposed iron, but really hoping to find a plains biome or some sort of forest. As night fell, I found myself in a desert and decided to craft a boat so I could sail through the night, finding a shipwreck on the way containing some iron, gold and emeralds. I found a savanna and quickly mined my way into one of the hills and smelted the iron that I found and waited until the daytime. When day arrived, I found a man with a shovel outside my place of residence, which was slightly terrifying, and spotted some exposed iron, so I aimed to grab that before I moved on. I spotted some more exposed iron, but it was heavily guarded. I tried to get a closer look, but there were far too many mobs to even consider going to get it. After travelling some more through desert, after badlands, after desert, I was getting pretty sick of sand. But then I found a cave, a very large one, with quite a bit of iron within it. I didn't have anything else to do, so I jumped in, hoping it would be a quick grabbing the iron and getting out. Which I was quite wrong about. I was immediately ambushed by mobs, spiders, zombies, but worst of all, skeletons, who got me down to one and a half hearts before I eventually built myself into a box so that I could survive. Because I had not set my spawn yet, if I died, I'd be all the way back at the beginning, and definitely unable to get my stuff back in time. 
Regening essentially cost me all of my food, leaving me with three slices of melon and a single apple. But luckily when I emerged from my box, a lot of mobs had either despawned or ran away, so I was able to cautiously grab some more veins of iron. In all, I was able to get almost a stack of iron before I noticed that it was daytime, and that I should probably be on my way. I got back in my boat, satisfied that I didn't need any more iron for now, and headed in search for a better biome, one with trees preferably. On the way, finding an exposed spider spawner, and also somehow sinking my boat. Then, finally in the distance, I spotted a jungle. I pulled my boat up and discovered that there was a forest and a plains biome next to it. It seemed perfect. So, I headed down, killing a few sheep on the way so I could make a bed, and as the sun began to set, I was able to sleep for the first time. When I woke up, I headed down into a nearby ravine, grabbing even more iron before finding a nice, quiet spot where I can build my base. I then started on making myself a farm and a safe place to live, chopping nearby trees down and planting a bunch of saplings so I could easily gather logs. Making a house was rather difficult. I had to stack slabs in a winding staircase so I could place the logs on top of each other. So because of this, I wasn't going for aesthetics when building my house, purely functionality. I normally pride myself in making nice houses, but not this time. It certainly looked rough. After finishing the house, I made some fences and gates and set about trying to trap some animals because my food sources were dwindling. The only positive thing about not being able to jump is that my hunger bar depletes extremely slowly, so I'm barely eating any food apart from in situations where I get hurt. But it would be nice to have an actual food source besides my very small beef farm. I trapped two sheep, two chickens and a singular cow, and started to prepare to go strip mining, because I really needed some diamonds. I ended up chopping down this massive tree which was no fun and then noticed that another large tree had grown and had a mini breakdown over not being able to jump but swiftly moved on. I started digging down very slowly trying to get to minus 60 which is just over 120 blocks down, meaning I would need 120 slabs to get back up. This took so 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 long but I did find two diamonds on the way which was amazing. I eventually made it to minus 60 and realised that I needed more pickaxes and supplies to start strip mining, so back up I went. Once replenished with supplies, I went back down and started strip mining, and realised how annoying being this far down was going to be because of the random pieces of bedrock. I spent about 30 minutes strip mining and found no diamonds! Yay! I was internally crying by this point because I really needed diamonds, so I knew that I was going to have to go back down there and continue strip mining. So I took a break. To recover my sanity, I decided to spend some time chopping down trees, but not the big one. I'm not touching that one, so it's law now. And then got jump scared by a wandering trader. After my small break, I made some more stone pickaxes and headed back down to continue mining. I was able to find four diamonds, which is not a lot, but finding those four diamonds definitely kept me going a bit longer. After another couple days mining, and many broken pickaxes later, I decided to call it a day and headed back up to the surface, desperately needing a break from strip mining. After resting offline for a bit, I hopped back into the game, making myself a diamond pickaxe, and decided to go explore the large cave right outside my home. I gathered some coal and iron before heading a bit deeper and spotting some diamonds. I had to dodge a couple of creepers, but was able to grab two diamonds and continued exploring. I ended up deciding to make a mad dash through the cave to get to the other side and ended up finding a spider spawner, which had a couple enchanted books, a name tag and a music disc in it. I made my way back to the surface as I was running out of slabs and noticed the wandering trader had lost a llama. I made a whole bunch of pickaxes and slabs so I could, guess what, continue strip mining for diamonds. And guess how many I found? Absolutely nothing once again. Deciding that I desperately needed a change of scenery, I decided to go on a mission. A mission to look for shipwrecks so I could potentially find some buried treasure, because there was a chance I could get some diamonds that way. I grabbed my boat and set sail in a singular direction. Very quickly I found a shipwreck, as well as a small structure which, in the chest, had some coal and a mending fishing rod. In the shipwreck I found something really exciting, carrots! But there was no valuables chest or treasure map, so I continued looking. 
few minutes later, I found another shipwreck in which I found some potatoes, some extreme lag which caused me to randomly lose about half of my health, and a treasure map. So I started heading southeast towards the X on the map. I found the spot and started digging, only realising that I was digging in completely the wrong spot when I dug out a massive hole already. After that, I quickly found the chest, getting two diamonds and a whole range of other valuables. On my way home, I also found a desert temple, which I quickly raided, getting diamond horse armour, a saddle, and a golden apple to take home with me. I was so excited for the saddle, as taming a horse would allow me to travel so much more easily, as horses can literally walk up blocks. So I continued my journey home and found my next goal. Very quickly, I had my very own horse and had the smoothest journey back to my house yet. I didn't have a stable or a pen for the horse, so for now, he is a house horse. After that, I cleared my inventory and hopped straight back into the boat to head to one of the nearby ruined portals I found early on my quest for shipwrecks, because there were no lava sources nearby and I wanted to make another portal. I eventually found it, grabbing both blocks of gold and then starting to mine the obsidian, but then realised that I wasn't going to be able to mine the pieces at the bottom because they were underwater, and I didn't bring any wood with me, so I had to go on a little detour to find a singular tree that I could then in turn make some doors and continue mining. On my way home, I found yet another shipwreck, which had some armour trims and a treasure map. It took me a little while to locate the valuables chest in the ship because that part of the ship had spawned in the ocean floor, but eventually was able to find it after about 5 minutes of digging. I headed back home, then checked the treasure map and saw that it was different to the one I found last time, and it was only about 100 blocks from my home, so I went to gather that. Once home, I grabbed the obsidian and built my nether portal getting together the resources I needed for lighting it and going in. I spawned in a decent spot, at least it wasn't a basalt delta, and started on my search for another fortress. I've never had much luck with finding them, so I didn't have my hopes too high. I knew that traversing the nether was going to be really tricky, I wouldn't be able to use water to help me climb blocks, and I wasn't going to risk my horse, so my only option was to use slabs. Seeing as wooden slabs wouldn't be preferable in a place of fire and lava, I opted for using deep slate slabs, seeing as I had so much deep slate from all the strip mining I had done. I was being very cautious, preemptively placing slabs going down so I'd have a quick route back if I got into any trouble. I managed to kill a piglin, acquiring a golden helmet which I quickly put on, then found an enderman and killed him while he sat nicely in my boat. I was having no luck finding another fortress, so after about 25 minutes of searching, I headed back to my portal for a quick breather and to restock my supply of slabs. Once back in, I continued searching, finding a pigman riding a strider holding a warped fungus on a fishing rod, which I had never seen before, but thought that that might actually be a good way to travel, so I lured them onto land, intending to kill the pigman and taking the stride for myself. When I remembered what happens when you hit a pigman, and decided very much again and left them to it. Continued on my way and everything was going so smoothly, until a ghast decided to come along and ruin it for me. I was trying to hit some fireballs back to him, but accidentally aimed one in the wrong direction, directly into a group of pigmen, so I ran as fast as I could without sprint jumping, trying to remember the path that I took to get there. I thought I was safe, hoping that if I got far enough away, then they would just forgive me. But no, even more emerged, I had to resort to hitting them out of the way to get them away from me. One came at me from the left, blocking my exit, so I did the only reasonable thing. I built myself into a box, hoping that it would keep me safe from them. 